Good morning everyone, hope you're doing well, no matter where you are in the world, no matter what you're doing in the world. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my day. It's Monday. It's very cold, 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 <laughs> cold, chilly. Combo wood, we love it. Um, all the cars are all icy, and it's not as early as it usually is. It's like 20 past 9, and it's still that cold. Which is a bad sign. The rest of the week's going to be really chilly. So, that's a benefit for me, for my experiment, but also a detriment for me and everything else. <laughs> anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. So, let's head off. Start Monday on a good, on the, on the front step, on a, on a good thing. Because the sun's out. Which means everyone's happy. I'm happy. Because waking up at 8 o'clock this morning, it was light. Can you believe it? And last night at like 5 o'clock, still light as the sun was going down. So spring is on the way. It always makes me happy. So let's stay positive for the rest of the week and get things done. Yeah. Great start to the day. It's taking me an hour and a half to get here door to door because of various train problems, but I'm not gonna let that get in the way. Have a good productive day. That rhymed. Wow. It's also reading week this week, so there's very few undergraduates around on campus. I mean, I've only just got here, so yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but there's no one around. But as a postgrad, I don't get a reading week because there's just too much to do, and also I have one taught session a week, so what's the point in having a reading week? I could just, yeah, it's not worth it really. <sighs> it's just nice and quiet when there's no undergrads around. Not that I don't like undergrads, because I was one only like six months ago. It's just, I like a sense of calm and silence, which a lack of people brings. No matter where I am, it's great. So yeah, today should be good. I'm gonna make it good. side that I need to clear because it's, it's my space. This is what I'll be using for my experiment. So I've got to shift everything out of the way. I pray that I do have enough room for my experiment. I'm pretty sure I will have enough space. Just like this thing. Two of these things. I think I need to move on to there. Which will be a bit of a task. But they don't look that heavy. It should be fine. It should be fine. Let's just let's have a look. Let's, let's have a tidy. Let's put things away. Let's make it look nice. I essentially just pushed some of the things around that were on the shelves on my section that I need and move them around. So it is tidier, but those big, like, clear plastic, um, I think they're like arenas or bees or something, are really heavy. So I need to talk to someone to get them moved or someone to come help move them. But they need someone to go, because I don't know where they need to go, so I need to talk to my supervisor about that. And then the room should be done, and I think because the weather's about to change, I might be able to start my experiment on Thursday, which is terrifying, because it's going to get sunny. Ooh, so scary. I think I'm, done. I think I'm ready though, to be honest. I'm, I'm organised, I've got sheets and stuff, ready to go but not printed, to keep everything scheduled and organised. So, I think I'm ready. Ooh, scary to say. This train is now approaching 20 minutes. Had to get the bus home. The, uh, both the overground and the underground was suspended from Richmond, which is where I usually change, so there were just no trains running this way. So I had to get the bus, which costs more. <sighs> Even though today I decided to go in a little bit later so I could get an off-peak fare to save myself about £3.50. But I just had to get back on the bus, which is £1.50. I still saved two quid, but I could have saved more had the trains been working as they're supposed to. But there you go, that's the British transport system that we all rely on so heavily. I do anyway. Anyway, complaining done. These are supposed to be positive vlogs, positive day. I did get tons done at uni, which is great. I did a poster abstract, which I sent to my supervisor so he can give me some feedback. I went and got some equipment I needed to rent or borrow for my experiment. Made sucrose solution for my bees, which is needed for the experiment too. 
I made some more cages and I also tidied up the little lab cupboard that you saw. So yeah, all in all, pretty damn productive today. I'm gonna do some more work when I get home because I've got some course with you. So, day's not over yet. Nighttime walk with Heck. It's a few hours later and it's dark. But at about quarter past five today, because the sun was out, it was still light, like I mentioned earlier. Oh, it's nice that it's getting uh, brighter. I just wish it was getting warmer because tonight it's going to be like zero degrees and I can tell you I'm feeling it now. Sorry, there's not been a night section of the vlog recently. I'm sure you've all missed it so much. All these uh, orange tones of my face and barely been able to see me most of the time. It's great. It's a good feature of the vlogs. As we get warmer and brighter days, there'll be less and less frequent, which is great. Uh, today, Martha got in the post Two vouchers for Shake Shack. I think I've shown off Shake Shack before in these vlogs. It's essentially a delicious burger place, which is like McDonald's, but better, like an upmarket McDonald's. Uh, she's been given two vouchers for that for us to go because she's got a hashtag ad on her Instagram for it. So we get some free burgers, which would be great as long as we get some cool pictures of the burgers, which oh, I, I am totally up for. Any excuse to get burgers and free burgers my word, what a day that will be. I don't know when we're going to do it. I think the deadline is like... she got like three weeks from when they arrive, so three weeks from today, so we've got loads of time. But I, I really fancy a Shake Shack burger right now because I'm hungry and they are so good. Like, if you've not been, um, not I'm not being paid personally to say this, <laughs> you should definitely check it out because they are absolutely amazing. And get the cheesy fries because they're also great too. Not exactly healthy but delicious.